was the first voice you heard talking about Toastmasters? Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, to our guests. The lifeblood of any Toastmasters club is its members. We are here to serve, and we're here to help each other out. More importantly though, because we know life happens, people get jobs and they move away. People get busy with their lives, they have families. It is critically important that we always strive to find new members for our club. They bring in new ideas, and they bring a, a fresh perspective on what not only they want to learn as a new Toastmaster, but what we might be able to teach and mentor them in every single meeting that we have. Ralph Smedley is the founder of our organization, and he has a quote that says, let us share the benefits we have gained for ourselves with others. Not only does it benefit those new members that join us, but it also benefits us when we teach what we've learned, the mistakes we've made, and the steps we've taken to become better leaders and better speakers. These are six really great steps that we, each of us can take to bring new members to our club. This helps us recruit new life and new energy. And notice each of these six points start off with a very value-laden action word. Talk, wear, display, distribute, conduct, and create. They all challenge us to do something more than we usually do at a Toastmasters meeting. Talk to friends, relatives, and coworkers. They are the closest to us and likely they are the closest to see the changes that we have developed as we become a better person through Toastmasters. They might say, hey Logan, something's different, but I can't tell why. <coughs> Kaiwan, that was a great presentation. How did you become better? Catherine, you seem so assured of yourself when you speak. Where did you learn that? More so than talking to friends, family, and coworkers, sometimes you have to listen even more because they may want what we have. So not only talk to friends and people that are close to you, listen to see if Toastmasters might be something that they want to engage in. Wear a Toastmasters pin every day, whether it's one of the round lapel pins, wear your name tag during a meeting, it's always a great conversation starter. I wore this Toastmaster pin to a wedding once, and someone said, you know what, John? I've been putting that I would be joining a Toastmasters club on my human resources professional development report for the past 10 years. <laughs> so, what club are you a part of? Oh, I haven't joined the club yet. Hmm. So, the pin struck up a conversation. Wear something to identify yourself. Toastmaster t-shirt, a lapel pin, find something to, that shows you're a Toastmaster. Display the Toastmaster magazine. For every single club you are a member of, you receive a Toastmasters magazine. Read it in public. Ask your doctor's office if you can leave a copy there. Talk to the libraries to see if you can drop a copy off. Or, if there's someone that you know that could use a little bit of improvement in their presentation or leadership skills, share a magazine with them. I thought this might be some interesting reading material that you can use, and it could Give the little spark that that person needs to look into Toastmasters. Distribute flyers, like we do here at our meeting. Pick some flyers up and see whether or not you give them to someone that you know. Whether it's the flyer on how to become a, a better leader through strong confidence, or because communication matters. Share that information with them. Conduct a speechcraft workshop. Right now our club is in the midst of setting up some of these work communication workshops and create an account on social networking sites. And you can tell, even in this past year, even what's been written on here has been outdated because it says, oh, such as meetup.com or yelp.com. Hmm, yeah, it shows even in the year and a half since this has been written,
that social networking has pr progressed far beyond those two websites. These five points, it feels like we don't have to talk about these very much because every meeting I am here at, at the Odette School of Business Toastmasters, I see these five points in action. We greet guests warmly when they arrive, sometimes to a fault where it's almost as though guests are swarmed, so we do have to be careful about the balance on that point. We sit near them just in case they have questions about our meeting. We speak to them after the meeting, which you will see, we will do. <laughs> Invite the guests to join uh, for any after meeting socializing, which we will likely do, and ask the guests to visit again. Although, knowing these circumstances, it'll be unlikely that you will return to us very soon, but our doors are always open to you. So, we don't have to do much about this. And last, we just have to make sure we are ourselves. We're not perfect speakers, we're not perfect leaders, but we're here because we want to improve every day on what we do, what we say, and how we hold ourselves. Okay? A guest never forgets the host who had treated them kindly. Now, this is all fine, well, and good, and this is what Toastmasters provides to us to present. The big question now is, for our club with that School of Business Toastmasters, what can I do? This is where each and every one of us is challenged to do more in the next month. Because there will be at least three different opportunities that I can name off of off the top of my head that are critically important in the next four weeks. The next four weeks are the most important recruiting weeks for our club. The first is the UWSA Club Days. That's our Student Alliance Club Days that it's set up outside this student center. How many of us first experienced Toastmasters at the Club Days outside the student center? Okay. <laughs> that is a very high traffic area where students come in at the beginning of the year and they browse and peruse what type of activities they'd like to engage in throughout the entire year. We need people there who can speak well of Toastmasters and invite people to see what a meeting looks like. So first and foremost, UWSA Club Days outside the Student Center. The second is our own home-based Club Days here at the Odette School of Business. We have two days here where we set up in the lobby of the business building and we attract people who would like to improve their communication and leadership skills. This is another opportunity to meet people, to say, hey, I'm John. Would you like to improve your communication skills? Or do you, are there any speaking projects that you have this upcoming semester that you might need help with? It gives you a chance to interface face to face with new potential Toastmasters. So we have club days out in front of the student center, we have club days here. Third, we have our speech contests coming up. Within the first few weeks of September, we have our humorous speech and tabletop contests. What a great way to showcase some of our best speakers and best impromptu speakers. Usually that's a larger meeting where we have guests come in and engage in what we do, and we showcase some of our most prolific and professional speakers. So we have UWSA club days, we have ODEP club days, we have the speech contests, and that all takes place in the next four weeks. We do a lot of the great stuff that I showed on the screen. We greet, we invite, we ask, we talk, we show, we display that proudly that we're Toastmasters. What can we do in the next four weeks to make sure the entire campus knows what we can offer them? Madam Table, uh, Madam Toastmaster. very applicable tips that can be applied not only to our club, but to clubs around the world, of course. Next is 
isn't it great to get away? Get away from it all. What, what better way is there to expand your horizons than to go on a trip? Our next speaker, our current Vice President of Education, 